Alright guys, I'm here checking out somebody I'm subscribed to, Anonymous. I want you guys to go and check this channel out. Um, they posted a video um, today. It says, Anonymous Trump becomes Lincoln as new civil war to free America. Now I've watched this video all the way through. And um, at the end here, they show um, the 13th minute abolished slavery. The Republicans were re were for this. Um, when gave citizenship to free the slaves, 94% were support came from Democrat. And the 15th minute right to vote for all was 100% Republican. And Obamacare was 0% Republican and 80% 86% Democrat okay um, you guys Trump is fighting against these sanctuary cities and um, Trump is fighting against these sanctuary cities, and that's why they want Trump out, because Trump is trying to abolish this, Get they got all these slaves that come from out of countries, they get these people to come here and they work them to build up their buildings and stuff in the sanctuary cities and keep them trapped in the ghettos, and then they give them government housing and government um, assistance to keep them working in their government slave societies, to keep building up and making them money. And Donald Trump say he done with this and he going to end it. But remember, he goes on vacation on the 3rd to the 20th. So anything can happen to Donald Trump during this time. I really believe that... Um, When I heard him say that Christ is going to come down, um, which I already know that Christ is already here. Christ already here. <laughs> the Father is already here. They've been here. They've been here. Heaven is on earth. I don't know why y'all keep saying heaven is in the sky, but it's not. You know? He gave us the stars, the sun, and the moon for signs and seasons, you know, to distinguish the night from the day. I just love him so much, you know? And I see what the elite is doing. They're spraying these chemtrails. That's how they're going to get all of y'all to turn to zombies, too. But not all will turn from that way. Some will turn because they have the mark of the beast. already implanted in them. It's already changed their DNA. What they're dropping through the sky, um, let's, see. let's see what we got in the news. Um, how about this story? Mysterious, mysterious bug bite lands Arizona man in the hospital. Um, <laughs> look how screwed up his arm is. Like, this is crazy. But there are spiders that do this. Um, and this has been going on for a while, um, especially in those areas. Um,
start it always starts off off as a tiny circle because whatever it is um I want to say that one day I was bit by something but I didn't see when I get when I got bit but I just had this little um look like I got bit like a little circle or whatever but it never did nothing like that I don't know well I guess I'm immune to whatever he got you know and the scripture do say that in the end times people is going to be breaking out in boils and stuff because they have the mark so I mean when stuff like that happen um I always think about that. It's possibly he had the mark, this guy. I mean, and whatever bug bit him, I mean, it's around everywhere because they're dropping it out of the sky. Like, <laughs> don't nobody ever see little worms dropping out of the sky? It's like disgusting. Or... How about, like, how about, like, we killed, like, so many spiders since we've been in our room. Like, I don't even know where they were coming from. But my son was killing them. Ugh. I mean, all the way to climbing in Kansas soda. That's why I say, you know, the devil comes in different shapes, okay? He might turn into an insect on you, you know what I'm saying? For real. Shit, just think about the man on that movie when he drank, (laughs) drank that bottle of tequila and it had that worm in it and he made the worm come out it was a big old big old worm snake looking thing ugh disgusting yeah those are those beastly characteristics because how could you even swallow a worm (laughs) how could you I'm so I'm so for sure in my faith that my father will lead me out. I know that here in the wilderness, this is for real the wilderness. I see what's going on. I really think on August 21st, we will have an appearance in the sky. I don't know what kind of appearance we're gonna have, but I believe it's between August 21st and the end of the month. Some major changes is gonna take place and they telling people to go out and buy a whole bunch of water and stuff. Yeah, you can get you some water because you're going to need it. But I wouldn't go out buying a whole bunch of stuff, though. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Because if you have faith and you trust in the mighty Yahuwah, then how can you go out and buy all this stuff? Because you should know that he's going to feed you. He's going to feed you with his words. You'll never go hungry. He's going to give you thirst. And nothing ever goes in, but... You'll have the waters of running life. That's it'll be running through your veins. You gotta believe that he will nurture you. 
and everything. Now, what I did do, um, I don't know if any of y'all are on EBT, but if you are, I'm talking to you and I'm talking to y'all that pay cash too. <laughs> okay. If you go to Walmart in the bulk section, they have these little buckets and it's emergency food. They're $20. I bought two. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's like pancakes, macaroni and cheese in there, all kind of good stuff in there. And the shelf life on it is really good. So, but they're emergency buckets. You know what I'm saying? So you just have you some emergency water, something that you can start a fire with. But trust me, if your lamp is filled, then you, you'll be able to have your hand turn to um, fire. You will be able to have fire come from your hands. So activating your hand chakras are very important. Very, very important. But the only way that you can do this properly is that you have to do it through your Yahshua. If you don't do it through him, it's not right. That means that you're a thief and you tried to go in through um, through the door. I mean, you tried to go in through the window and you didn't go through the door, which is Yahushua. So, I just want you to know that um, so many things are going on. And my father sometimes he asks questions like he, he tells my son he say yeah who will say well he don't even know why you watching that and sometimes I just want to laugh I, it tickles me because it's so funny and I was like I don't know why I'm watching this either I said it just makes me so mad and they want to say my father is not my father. Never again will I be away from him. <sighs> I love my father. I love Yahshua. I'm in love with him. He is my everything. From the moment that I wake up, like, I'm praising and I'm just glorifying him and, and my father and my holy mother too, of course. And um, soon I will be with them and I'm glad they chose me. My father chose me. <coughs> Just like I read that day, excuse me. He chose me. From birth. He had already made me who I was going to be. And... I can honestly say that um, I can honestly say that he It's so hard to explain. He chose me. 
he like parents they knew that in the world that their child could go off but father knew he already knew that I would stray and then I would come back he knew that once I heard the truth something would click I mean it did and every day I fight against the forces of darkness and my father helps protect us but my father really does protect all of the good people on this planet and it's not many it's not many a lot of people are evil out here but my father is trustworthy the mighty Yahuwah creator of heaven and earth It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. To have a father who created pretty much everything. Everything came in existence through him because of the word. And the word became flesh and became his son. Yeshua, who we also call Yahuwah Shai. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He was the way back to the Father. He is the truth. And sometimes I get angry because how people treat my father and it makes me snap and I be needing to vent frustration. I'm human <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> I'm excited. To have somebody in my corner loving me and rooting me the whole way. After a hundred, then the eclipse, then things are going to happen. I hope you guys get your prayer on, get your worship on, keep your lamps filled by reading his word, um, by meditating. You have to meditate. If you look in the scripture, you type in the word meditate on Google right now. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let me show you how many times the word meditate is in the Bible. Probably didn't spell it right. <laughs> okay. Let's make this smaller. Okay.
Psalms 1 verses 1 through 3. How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of the sinners, nor sit in the seats of the scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the of what? Of the Lord Yahuwah. And in his law he meditates day and night. He will be like a tree firmly planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and leaf does not wither. And in whatever he does, he prospers. You are supposed to meditate day and night. The scripture tell you to. If somebody is telling you that it is evil, they are wicked and you need to rebuke them. Let's read that again. So maybe you guys didn't understand. Psalms 1 verses 1 through 3. How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor standeth in the path of the sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scoffers, But his delight is in the law of Yahuwah, and in his law he meditates day and night. He will be like a tree firmly planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers. How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. If you're walking in the counsel of the wicked, it's because you're not meditating. So if you're not meditating day and night, you're walking in the counsel of the wicked. So all of you guys who are pointing the fingers and scoffing at me, the scripture is telling you right here. So if you're against meditation and you're saying it's of the devil, then you're saying you're against Yahuwah. And Yahuwah is definitely not the devil. So I rebuke all of you who are against meditation in my father's holy name, in Yahuwah's holy name. I rebuke you if you are against meditation. Because when I'm done with this video, I'm going to put me on some meditation beats and I'm going to meditate. Because now y'all have upset me because y'all keep talking about is something wrong with opening up the third I, which is the pineal gland. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. That's what the scriptures say. Nor standeth in the path of the sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scoffers. All y'all do is scoff, and y'all sinning. But his delight is in the law of who? Yahuwah. And in his law, he meditates what? Day and night. And what do you get out of meditating day and night? He prospers. He prospers. Psalms nineteen fourteen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Yahuwah, my rock and my redeemer. Yahuwah is the only one who can redeem you. Oh, Shonda, he ain't talking about that meditation. He just talking about reading the word. I meditate on the word. No, he talking about closing your eyes and visualizing You can meditate on the words with your eyes closed. You should know that word by now because the words is is inside your heart. He inscribed them there. All you got to do is look with inside yourself and see that. Close your eyes and meditate. You running out of time. Come on, people. Wake up. Psalms 104, 34, let my meditation be pleasing to him. As for me, I shall be glad in Yahuwah. Come on, man. Come on, man. The scripture's telling you to meditate. And y'all say, I'm crazy? No, y'all crazy. 
Y'all the crazy ones. I rebuke all of y'all who don't meditate. Who say it's of the devil. Put your hands over your head and rebuke that demon. Oh, shut up, Jeannie Hardesty. I don't think that's of God. I don't think you're of God. How you keep messing with my sisters out here. I think you got a problem with Israelites. Sisters from daughters of Zion. Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is good, repute. If there is any excellence and of these things worthy, praise, dwell on these things. Meditation. Thinking. You have to meditate. You got to understand. You got to meditate. When I saw 66, 63 and 6. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. So what is he telling you? You you meditate in the night watches. You you don't you ain't supposed to be asleep. Psalms 119, 15 and 16. I will meditate on your precepts and regard your ways. I shall delight in your statutes. I shall not forget your word. Why should you not forget his word? Because it's inscribed in your heart. And the only way you could get to those inscriptions is by closing your eyes and meditating. You got to meditate. <laughs> you got to meditate. Joshua 1 and 8. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. What? What did it say? For then you will make your ways prosperous and then you will have success. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, hmm. but you shall Meditate on it day and night. So if you meditate because these scriptures is inside of you, right? And it's never going to depart. The law shall never depart from your mouth. Because why? Meditation is a part of the law. And, and what it will make you prosperous. Come on, y'all not, not getting it. Psalm 77, 12. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your deeds. Psalms 111.2 Great are the works of Yahuwah. They are studied by all who delight him. Who delight in them. Psalms 143 and 5 I remember the days of the old. What? How do you remember the days of the old? I meditate on all your doings. I muse on the work of your hands. You go back to the acoustic records. You meditate. You know what I'm saying? You, you go to the librarian. You sit down at the table. And she, gives, she brings you a book. And this book is your book. And you read all about all your past lives in this book. You have to meditate to get to your acoustic records. This stuff is real. You don't believe the acoustic are real? I want you to look on your phones right now and download. It's called the Aquarian of Jesus. It comes straight from Yahuwah's acoustic records. Even though we know some of it's been twisted, but most of it is still the same.
but you got to meditate. You got you got to meditate. You got to meditate. You got to meditate. Psalms 119, 148. My eyes anticipate the night watches that I may meditate on your word. For real. This is this is this this you got to. Like this is this is instructions. You got to follow the instructions. That's right there. Job 2222. Please receive instruction from his mouth and establish his words in your heart. Psalms 39 and 3. My heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burn. Then I spoke with my tongue. What? The heart was on fire. What? That heart chakra was burning up. Yes, on fire for the Lord. And you spoke in tongues. Yes, yes. You guys got to understand. Hmm. Luke 2 and 19. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. Hmm. Mm. All I know is you guys have to meditate. Genesis 24 and 63. Isaac went out to meditate in the field toward the evening. And he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, camels were coming. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. You guys have to meditate. You have to meditate. Meditation is powerful. Meditation is powerful. So you guys got to meditate. So I would suggest that you guys meditate and um, quit being scary. <laughs> Trust me, when you see him face to face, it's like it's like a moment that you never ever want to take your eyes off of. I love you guys all. May the Father keep you and bless you and hold you in every way. I love you. I really do.